Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the Concealed Void Law Sector. Now we're doing it on Legend difficulty. It's helmet day today, so all the exotic helmets can be acquired in this law sector on the Legend difficulty, of which I got all three of them today. So last time I'd done a run like this and put multiple characters on, I ran the same weapons on each character. We're going to be doing the same thing again, except I'm not going to be using the Anarchy. This time we're going to go for a War main build, and I'm going to be using the Xenophage. I will explain as we're going through how the Xenophage can create War Mind Cells. Now the three modifiers for this are Arcan Aerial Damages Increased Towards You, Vandal Spawn Spider Mines when you kill them, and Solar Damages Increased by 50%. So as you can see we're using Nightwatch again. We're using Yan 7 uh, for our Barriers. Obviously the Scout Rifle is for our Overloads. Xenophage. I'm top tree Nova, as always. You can see there I've went with Wrath, Wrath of Rasputin. You'll see there exactly what all these mods do. Wrath of Rasputin is the one I believe that creates war mine cells. Solar spl splash damage has a chance to create war mine cells. The, uh, Rage of the War Mind, massive explosions. Now, on, there is only one difference between the loadouts. Uh, Fire Team Medic, I don't have that on the Titan. Or the Hunter, I went with the Power of Rasputin, which is a Void mod. It increases damage that you do if, against enemies that are near a War Mind Cell. Really good for this Lost Sector. I just never thought about it when I was doing the Warlock. Uh, and Burning Cells, so everything burns, a wee, anything you hit burns. That is the setup. I got all the helmets, as I say. The only one that isn't in this video, you can see there's the Dawn Chorus for the Warlock. The only one you don't actually see me get in the video is the Titan one. <laughs> I got the One-Eyed Mask, as I say, so uh, I got it in a previous run. They're all about five minutes long. All the runs were about five minutes, so I didn't justify putting them in separate videos. A bit of a waste of time. So I'm going to commentate this run, and you can apply the knowledge from this. To the other video so you don't have to listen to me rabbit on for three separate runs so when you get into the lost sector you're almost as soon as you get in you're going to be confronted with a couple of enemies straight away this one they are in your face as soon as you get in so as you can see a couple a couple of drag you know and then and then you're gonna you're gonna get uh your first overload now what i what i do it, on the Warlock, it's different on the Titan and Hunter because, because I'm running solar on those. So as you can see, I'm just taking them down a little bit. I'm not trying to waste too much of my Xenophage, but there you go. There's your first War Mind Cell. Bust that, and that should clear a lot of the enemies around the other side. There's going to be a, a big Shank there. Take him out with, with, the, with the Xenophage. And then finish this guy up here. I always try and take these mines before I go up. And now I'm going to reload my Xenophage. Now, this is worthwhile noting. The War Mind build is crazy. I mean, it's, it's, there's nothing nothing bad about it. Everything's all good. But the sustainability of this is, literally, you need to keep getting heavy. So what I do here is I put four shots on this champion. Quick switch to the pulse so that he doesn't get a chance. Two more shots, he's dead. Then I turn around. What we want to do is break that Captain's shield and just Xenophage him. And now it's easy pickings here, you know, all the way to the overload. So, a couple of shanks, you're going to have, what, six shanks, you're going to have two drag up there, you're going to have three drag on the platform down in front of you, just below you, and then there's going to be two over the other side. When you get over to the other side, you're going to have a giant shank, you're going to have a sniper, and you're going to have an overload. So that's what, what you've got in this area, so just... Just kind of move in between the areas, making sure that each of the platforms are cleared before you move to it. It's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's suicide for your character if you push onto a platform where there are enemies. But why take the chance? That's why we've got a scout rifle. And you'll see there, I took big damage on you straight away. One of those shanks had, had went south. So there we go. We've got heavy now. As you'll have seen on the mods, I've got on on my helmet. I've got machine gun, uh, uh, machine gun ammo finder. I've got machine gun reserves on the chest plate, and on the legs I've got machine gun scavengers. All geared to getting as much ammo as we can for the Xenophage, because it just it just does a lot of work against the boss and against the ads. So I'm going to take that, that sniper out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to stop this boy here. Now he can be a little bit 
annoying. I had a bit of trouble with him all day. He definitely wasn't that easy to take down every time I'd done that. But I think with the update today, uh, today being whatever day it is today, I forgot what day it is. Uh, with, with, with the update being today, uh, Monday. Monday? Jesus, I don't even know what day it is. It's not Monday. Uh, <laughs> I've completely lost the plot here. Uh, with the update being today, I think the, the the servers were a little bit screwy, so what are you going to do, you know? So as you can see, even the Exploders, they produced a War Mine cell because Solar Splash damage. So what I'm, I normally don't do it like this, but if you can get away with it, if he's there, take him. But normally, he'll go and hide in one of the alcoves or just, just to the left. Produce another War Mine cell. That will take all the Exploders and look at all this lovely heavy. Beautiful. So, as you can see, dive in. It is Monday today. <laughs> sorry, sorry I went back to that. Dive in, get these couple of ads. There's four of them. And then as soon as you've killed the four, just charge a grenade and pre-throw your Nova. Because, I'm going to tell you, he's going to move really quickly off that plate. He is really going to go. So what we're going to do is, we're not really going to do a, a lot of big farmage on them, big hits, just going to get some shots off. Now the great thing about this is, the Xenophage, especially when the solar damage on and the warming cells and all that, it just mows down this champion. And then we've got a warming cell, goodbye to all the smaller ads. I'm just going to put a grenade. Now I'm going have to, I have to say this so that you guys know, when I was doing this run, I didn't know that the Xenophage would just completely melt through that Severus shield. I didn't know that. But, there you go. And there's a couple of more adds. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I just I decided to jump over them. Because I hadn't had my Xenophage reloaded. And there you go. That, that's like a five minute run. Just so that anybody's aware. Just behind this cache. And you see there I got the reward. Just behind the cache. There is one of the dead exoskeletons. You'll see it shining. Don't forget to pick that up. I hope this helps you grind out these helmets. Go and get them. This is quite an easy one. Five, six minute run. Uh, thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. Enjoy the rest of the runs. I hope it helps you guys get your rewards. If you like the video, a like rating is always appreciated. Thanks a lot again. And I will see you guys in the next video.